Hello guys and welcome to Gamecook. Today I am thrilled to take you through my adventure to making a full game in just 4 days for the GMTK Game Jam. Literally 3 lines of code have f***ed my game up and at this point there is nothing I can do about it. For those who don't know, this Game Jam is one of the biggest game development events that occur only once in a year. Around 25,000 of people joined this year's Game Jam and I was more than excited for it. Every Game Jam has a theme and this year's theme, like any other, was supposed to be announced on YouTube. I was sitting behind my computer with excitement and counting down with this timer until the video was uploaded. I clicked on the video and the theme is chosen to be built to scale. That's right. I was just sitting there with my dick in my hand trying to make sense out of that thing. But as I was thinking, an idea sparkled in my head. Let's make a puzzle game where the player has to size himself up or down by going through certain doors in order to solve a bunch of puzzles. Yeah, I know that's like 99% of my other games that I've made for any game jam. A square puzzle game has become my signature at this point. Like any other time, I thought this, this time we can be different. With this idea, I'm gonna reach the highest mounts of the GMTK game jam. So I made a new 2D project in Unity. Once the project opened up, I added a square because that's my signature. Then I added another square. Since I've made so many of these square puzzle games in the past, I decided to copy some of the logic from my other game to save some time. All we gotta do is to just copy and paste the code, delete all the red lines, and then play the game to see how it works. Hell no, man. What the then I finished up a prototype for the game. If you get through the red door, you start to get bigger and your jump force and weight start to increase. That means you can jump higher, but at the same time you won't be able to sneak through smaller doors. But it's a little bit late, so I'll go ahead and sleep, then I'll catch you tomorrow. I started the day off by making a playground level. What this means is that I just put a bunch of obstacles and gameplay mechanic related objects in a single level to test out some of the metrics and calculations. This helps a lot in the process of level design. Now it's time to add mechanics to the game. The first mechanic that I added was a button. You can only press it if you're heavy enough. It is used to open doors and trigger certain actions like changing the color of a scaling door. And by the way, these are called the scaling doors. The next mechanic that I added was a pressure pad. It works similar to a button with the only difference being that it only triggers when an object with a certain amount of weight is directly standing on it. Another mechanic that I added was a box that you can push around and stuff. Also a breakable wall that only breaks if you're big enough. So far, I've only made levels that introduce new mechanics. And if I keep going on like this, I might just burn myself out making like hundreds of mechanics. Not only that, but the players will be confused when there's too many stuff that they need to learn in a puzzle game. So I designed a bunch of more levels. It's day three and at this point, my tiny brain was out of ideas for making new unique levels. So I decided to add a magnet to the game. I know that sounds familiar, but Mark's idea to make a puzzle game about magnets was so great, I had to steal it. Plus, imagine what new dimensions it will add to my game. A whole era of new and unique puzzles and levels. Uh, I ran out of ideas. Let me explain how I got here. At first, I made a magnet that the player can move around with him and aim at other objects to attract them. But f*** me, making that shit was hard for such a limited amount of time. So I had to cut it off to just a simple magnet that you can move around like a box. 
to attract different objects. You can also scale it up or down to attract heavier things or to move it through tight areas. As I was making the levels, I found out that the doors don't really work so well. For instance, if you move this guy from right to left, it works. But if you move him from left to right, the door seems to suddenly get brain aneurysm and not give a shit at all. And the only problem was that I wrote up instead of right here. Really? That took me like 15 minutes of my time. Anyway, I made like two or three more levels and then I just couldn't take it anymore. I was so burnt out and my little idiot brain was out of ideas. I would either make a level that is super easy to solve or something that's impossible to get through, like this one right here. Oh wait, did I just find a solution to this? <laughs> Never mind. Day 4 is all about polishing the game. First off, I made some lights and designed a player character so it doesn't just look like another one of these movable boxes and such. I also added some colors to the game, which I stole from the secret umbrella lab from RE2 Remake, aka The Nest. It'll also make for a good environmental narrative for the game, since I'm going for a portal kind of a story where you're a test subject going through puzzles. I also added post-processing, which makes the game 10 times better with literally no effort at all. Then I edited a bunch of sounds and added sound effect to the game as well. To add the final finishing touches, I added a tutorial system as well as a record icon at the top right corner of the screen. To finish up the story of the game, I made an ending level along with a cutscene. But I still had a little more time left, so I added this level transition, which I copied from another one of my games. Also a square puzzle game. And without testing if the game works properly or not, I blindly exported the game not knowing what horrors lurk around the corners waiting to ambush me at first chance. Then I made the ish.io page, and with one hour remaining, I submitted the game for the game chat. You can find a link to it in the description. At this point, I was so tired I decided to go to sleep. I woke up today only to find out that the last two levels of my game along with the ending scene are missing. No! 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 I went investigating and found out that the level transition that I added at the last moments of the jam is causing the issue. Literally three lines of code have f***ed my game up. And at this point, there's nothing I can do about it since the uploading is temporarily closed while the game jam voting is in progress. But since there's nothing I can do about it, let's just not get ourselves angry and let this one go. Guys, make sure to test your game before release, no matter what. Also, make sure to like this video, subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching and get out of here.